So, mga gabihin yung tanan. Um, today, uh, I will demonstrate on saon paghimo program na uh, will send the message kung i-trigger ni mo ang send option. So, actually, na-remember na ako sa college. Skill ako sa, in- sa una. Ng panahon pa to sa 3310, 1100 na na-limit ang pila ka book ma-receive na message sa receiver. At uh, hindi ko na ako sa nag-skill ako college, nag-create ko program sa so, special basic na mo send o daghan kayo nga message, messages sa text. And to the point nga ang ang kanang to the point nga ang receiver mag-ugtas na kay daghan kay imagine um na nay limit ang 3310 no 100 data or pila ka messages mapuno na na siya and actually mo loop ko 1000 usa so, high sobra pa na nga sige ra siya send of message send of message but ano time to siya pag skill so we we are kan kan ng as, as students pa gusto ta experience and gusto ta mang trip so but right now, I will show you a practical application na gun saon pag-create o system na mo send og message. So this is actually very helpful no for programmers na gusto sila mo send og notification through actually you can send a notification through email, you can send a notification through um, SMS and another thing is pwede ng mga uh, push screen notification. But the good thing with SMS is that bisag wala internet, maka-receive ka, makadawat ka og information. So, let's try. So, we will be doing this sa uh, Windows Forms app. So, I always know. So, taghan mag mga options sa so, pag-create ni mo. So, actually, I will try this sa uh, Windows Forms para mas sayon siya himuon ba. So, I mean... Sayon siya, in the sense nga sayon ang Windows Form, but ang ako ang pinaka-point yun ani nga ng Windows Form sa akong gigamit is that drag and drop ra mangod siya. So, WPF, more structured. So, kinato ay is testing na ni So, text message. So, create ko folder nga text message. Dere na ako i-save. Then, kanang text. SMS sender. So, imuuna pa rin siya. So, now, <clears throat> so I'm using Visual Studio 2019. This is free. So, pwede kayo maka-download and free. This is a free version. And, kung himuon is that, um, first, I will drag the components. No? Butangan ako, butangan ako, um, butangan ako siya o text box. So, ang text box nga may butang dari is for the uh, number nga ako ang sendan so I will set the font to 15 para na ako and ni siyang form 1 I will name this to uh, where is it na ba so, so here so SMS sender so, this is very useful no? actually you can bind pwede ni mo na i-appel ang imong SMS sender sa imuhang kuan sa imuhang sa tawag ani uh, pwede din mo siya i-appeal sa uh, imong mga functions ba so after ni mo execute ang functions pwede ni mo i ride on ang imuhang SMS sender so at the end of function example nag nag create kag inventory system na ay inventory nga na hurot na so wala na i uh, wala na kuan wala na example na kay stocks ani sa tambal na kay stocks or bisa kun sa libro or anything na ang stocks is close to depletion na example na ay 30 ka box stocks and imong iset nga basta mabutang og 5 na lang ka box mo send og send a uh, message no nga o oh, need na ka mo palit kay lima na lang ka box or need na ka mo palit kay managhurot na or you can actually send uh, set it to pag ni zero na gyud so ka mo send so now, ang ato ang purpose there is just to understand how it's done and I'll be adding just a simple um, a simple program. <clears throat> so, this is the send to, that is the contact ng yung sendan and your message. So, you can actually add a message or pwede ni mo nga imuhang static ang message but let us make it like this na nga message will be 
um, dynamic so that pwede maka-send of message and pwede maka-type uh, ang users. Kung usang ilahang i-type, then um, we will be adding here. Um, okay, so, kana So, muna itong message then. We will add a button. Ang ato ang button is send. So, ang purpose ani is sending lagi niya sa message. Ha? So, this will send a message. So, this is actually a good thing. No? Kung example na kay Tripan or na kay ka ng gusto nga uh, binuangan kay uh, dili ni siya mo display sa sender so, na ni siya option actually. So, na ay paid, na ay free. So, atong paid, mobile ka og SMS sender. So, ang mahita po ato is, pag mobile ka og SMS sender, nga, I mean, SMS server, I mean, sorry for that. Pag mobile ka og SMS server, um, na kay monthly na subscription na na. Pero kung example, wala kay paliton, uh, nga SMS sender, I mean, SMS server, um, na siya yung magawas nga uh, message nga diin mo siya gipalit or diin ni siya nga server gihost or ka na dili siya paid version so na na siya yung butang na so ang atuang gamit nga API that is um, programming interface application programming interface so sa programming mo na siya actually um, ginagamit. So, I have already created a function. So, nag-subscribe na, na, na ko uh, what you call this ning create na ko o kuan. So, ang, ako ang himuna ni is so, this is actually the function. So, I, I'm using iText mo. So, iText mo, na na siya free, dira na 10 SMS per day. But if you want to go to the paid version, tas mas daghan kag text, mas daghan kag mix for, there's actually per month na subscription. Um, but we will be using a uh, free demonst for demonstration purposes. Now, um, I will be adding variables on top para dili ko, dili nyo makita ang ako ang PPI, no? Which is for the sake na ako ang, ako ang itago akong kuan ako ang API. So, ang um, dili ako gusto ba nga pa ng sanesya so, ako ang butangan ni Dre is static string. I will have it public. String API. So, and we will have our we will have our API and of course, nana API key or API password. Ang API key o ang API password mo na siya inuhang gamit ito. Okay, so I have set my API key and uh, my API so that um, mona siya i-access. So, ako siya ni post so that yung makita ang API key. No? So, here is the code. Mona siya ang code. So, it will be asking for the number. Mona siya yung number nga senda ni mo, ang imuhang message, that your message. Ang API code, which is you have used when you subscribe or when you created an account with um, iText mo and API password. So now we will be creating a function here. So we will be calling dynamic result. We will declare um, result as dynamic, and we will call itextmo. So itextmo. Now it will be asking for the number. So we will. This is string. So we will have the text box one. Text because the um, this is the text box. So this is text box one. So again. Um, so that good programming practice, you name it properly. So text uh, number, and this is the text message. Message. So now um, going back, so I will have it text number that text. So we will be getting the text property of that text box. Now it's asking for the message. So what is the message? So we'll be using text message that. Um, text. So we are actually getting the text property of the text box text message. Now we are looking for the string API code. So um, the API code is we have declared already. So I have created public string. So I will have the API and I will have the API 
um, T. So, I will be doing that. So, now, this is actually, once it enters dynamic, it will execute this. So, this is an object and it will, it will actually execute this using these parameters that we have passed. Now, we will check if result is equal to zero, meaning if the result is zero, then we have successfully sent a message. Otherwise, an error is thrown. So, we will be saying na uh, um, message box message box that show we will be showing this um, message has been successfully sent fully sent now another message box is that else so error on sending message So now, so error on sending message. Now, we'll try sending the API. So actually, um, we will uh, be showing here. I'll be showing you. So this is itexmo. No? So this is itexmo. You can actually create an account for free. So this is free. Um, but there is actually if you want to have it paid then basically you need to subscribe so or you need to create an account i mean rather you need to have a subscription so we will try running so this is your sms sender and we will have it um zero nine so if you if you can actually see there so there is an error message okay um but i have received a message from itexmo so itexmo it sent here text message so there is um, a message sent to me so we will be the error here is that we cannot actually compare an int to string so a uh, result is actually string and zero is an int so we will have it like this so so we will um, stop the so we need to have parentheses. Ah, uh, no, sorry. Um, open and close quote to indicate that zero is a string. So we will run. We will send a message again. And for you to basically test this and try this, you can just <clears throat> explore. But imagine, so what if this is actually a, a dynamic? Here's the fun part, but this is just for you to explore now, but I don't really recommend this. What if you will try while? So in i is equal to um, zero, then while um, i is less than 1000. So while i is less than 1000, you will execute this. And you will have I plus plus. So imagine how many times you sent this. So, and you will comment this out so that um, actually you can declare the result on top. But we will comment this out so that it will not prompt from time to time that you have sent a message. So it will, but uh, we have just created this as an indication and a send. No? So imagine if you look 1000 times, so meaning it will send 1000 times. But again, again, you need to have, um, you need to have a subscription with the, with the provider, with the API provider. So that's all for today. And I hope you understand, um, something on how to implement text messages using API. For our example, we use iTextMo. So thank you very much and have a good day.